¿Qué tal amigos de Bit 100.9? La noche se apodera de EDC México 2024 y qué mejor que tener a Bob Moses aquí en Bit 100.9. Guys, how are you today? I'm awesome. It's very bright in here. Yeah, but it's great. I'm great. That's so cool. A couple of months ago, you came to Mexico City. We can tell you people was loving that set, and now with the club set, it's just mind blowing. How do you feel? I feel great, man. I f we were talking like Mexico City. We feel like in the last couple of years, we've just been coming back and coming back and building it. And uh, this is our first time playing EDC, and we're very, very excited. Yeah, what better place to do a club set than EDC? So we're stoked. Now, a lot of new music and a lot of classic music that you play on your set. What can we expect for 2014? Oh, 2024, sorry. <laughs> I was like, time traveling. 2014 was a great year. But no, that's from the past. 2024, we're working on new music right now. We're like in the thick of it. So we're excited to be here at EDC, um, soak up a little dance music love and uh, take it back with us to the studio for inspiration. Yeah, from new music and just inspiration. What do you get inspiration from? From people, from places? Yeah, going to shows, seeing stuff, living life, having experience. Like, you know, we like to write about what we know and our lyrics are very important to us. And so you need to experience things. And so we, all of our lyrics are sort of a reflection of what's going on in our personal lives. So just getting back out into the world, playing shows, seeing how things work, that's what makes the next record, you know? I know that your music, it's a lot of feelings, a lot of emotions. What do you think about AI getting into the production in the electronic music? Um, I'm choosing to be positive about it. You never know. I feel like it's equal parts scary and, and exciting. I think some for us, some of the synths and like weird tools that our AI is coming up with are pretty sweet. So we're just excited to use those in the studio. As far as like AI taking our jobs or whatever, I feel like that's still a f hopefully a far away thing. But you never know. We just try not. We just try to see the positive and get excited about the positive potential and try not to worry about the negative potential too much, you know, but what will happen will happen, so. That's a cool, to use the AI as a tool more than as uh, something different. Yeah. Now, funniest moment in Mexico City. Funniest moment in Mexico City? Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Uh, That's one time we were singing drunk on top of 7-Eleven. Oh yeah, Excuse one me. time, okay, we played a festival. Uh, the XX played too, I forget what the name. I forget what it was called. But we, um. It ended up with us back at the hotel outside having a rap battle, drinking tequila, because we all the bars closed. So we went to one bar and then another bar, and then there was no more bars. And so we took the hotel tequila and we were in the street and then we climbed on top of a 7-Eleven <laughs> and we were just rapping like nonstop. And like we had a little crowd of people. It was really embarrassing. It was bad, yeah. We, yeah. Shouldn't, we should not be <laughs> rapping. Nobody should, yeah. Definitely something. It was random that night, but it we was stick to dance music yeah. for sure. Yeah. Don't. We're not, there's no Bob Moses rap career. <laughs> Just pure electronic music. Yeah. Now, what do you think about Mexican crowd here in EDC Mexico? Because it's something different from a couple of months ago. Well, to be honest, we just arrived here and we have come straight from the car to the press tent. So we're not sure what to expect. We don't know yet. But all I know is that Mexican crowds, and I'm not just saying this, are some of the best in the whole world. The energy is like unmatched. So I think we're both really excited to see what they have for us and we'll hopefully rise to the occasion. I can tell you that we were waiting for you. When we saw your name on the lineup for the 10th anniversary of EDC, we we're like, what? You're coming from a club set from actual Bob Moses. We were like, man, we need to be there. Now, talking about 10 years of EDC, do you remember your first festival? First festival. I wonder what the first festival we actually ever played was. Yeah. We've done so many. So, so many festivals. Probably Art Basel, actually, in Miami might be, if that counts. Yeah. Um, I guess the short answer to that question is no. no. Probably because <laughs> we, we were having such a good time, we don't remember it. I don't remember much be. of those times. You know? No, and now, any advice for new artists that they're coming to play for the first time into a festival? Do something unique. Try to be genuinely you. You know, it's hard out there. It yeah, also just enjoy it, like yeah. soak it up. Fest the good thing about festivals is like the culture of the festival is bigger than any one artist there. So it's like, that's what we love about playing festivals is you get to soak up. Everybody's dressed co cool. There's cool decorations. There's like so much happening. So it's like just this beautiful, it's like Disneyland for adults, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, just enjoy and be unique. It's supposed to be fun. So have fun, you know? That's the key. Just have fun. Thank you. Anything that you want to say to your Mexican fans? 
We love it here. We're stoked to be back in Mexico City and let's have some fucking fun tonight, you know? Thank you so much. Estamos con Bob Moses, primer día EDC México. Vamos con lo que sigue aquí en Beat 100.9, Total Music.